Ecology for Kids by Frederico Arana. Ecology. What does the word ecology mean? The term was invented by Ernest Haeckel, a German biologist. He joined two Greek words, oikos, meaning house, and logi, meaning the study of. Together they mean the study of the house. The house, Haeckel had in mind, is our planet Earth. Earth is home for all living things, humans, animals, plants, fungi, and even tiny microbes. To study a house is to learn how its residents use it. An ecologist is a scientist who studies the relationships between organisms and their environment. The environment is an organism's surroundings. It may include water, gases, rocks, and temperature. Ecologists also study the delicate balance of using the environment while protecting it. An ecologist once asked a boy what he thought it meant to protect the environment. The boy said, you go into the forest and look for somebody who wants to cut down a tree. You take away his ax. You tell him about how important trees are. You say they are good for natural beauty, saving soil, putting oxygen into the air, and giving shelter to birds and other animals. Good answer, said the ecologist, but it may not be easy to find a woodcutter to talk to. Also, remember that sometimes it's necessary to cut down a tree. If we cut down too many trees, the forest will disappear. If we don't cut down any trees, we won't get any resources from the forest. We have to find the right balance. I get it, the boy said. We need the forest's resources for wood and paper, or we might not have desks and notebook for school. Exactly. And school is a good place to learn about ecology, said the ecologist. Then you will know how to protect the natural environment. Ecosystem. Scientists call Earth and its surrounding atmosphere the biosphere. To study it, they divide it into parts called ecosystems. An ecosystem is a natural area where groups of living and non-living things interact with their environment. Forests, lakes, swamps, and deserts are all examples of ecosystems. One ecosystem and the organisms that live in it may depend on other ecosystems. For example, a bear that lives in a forest might use a lake to find fish to eat and water to drink. In the same way, the problems of one ecosystem often directly affect the organisms of other ecosystems. Take, for example, the problems of the tropical rainforest. Construction of the forests. Four of Earth's seven continents have traces of what used to be vast tropical forests. Now these forests are gone. How did they disappear? A large part of the forest was cut down to clear land for farming. This caused problems. The layer of soil upon which a forest rests is thin. Without deeply rooted trees, the soil is washed away by rain. Soon nothing remains but dry, sandy soil in which very little can grow. Without plants to eat, animals must leave their habitats. Huge amounts of oxygen are also lost. The Amazon rainforest alone is thought to produce one third of all the oxygen in Earth's atmosphere. In addition, many rainforest plants are used to produce medicines. Preserving the rainforest is important to all living things. An ocean of resources. The sea is another ecosystem to be both used and protected. The sea covers four-fifths of Earth's surface. It is an amazing world filled with huge variety of creatures. These creatures include fish, crabs, jellyfish, corals, sponges, clams, snails, and algae. Marine animals such as dolphins and whales spend their whole lives in the sea. Other mammals, including seals, walruses, and polar bears, live near the sea and spend much of their time in it. The sea turtles and some birds, such as penguins, spend most of their lives at sea. Scientists are still discovering new species of sea life. Fish is an important food resource. The sea provides 50 million tons of fish each year. However, overfishing, harvesting too many fish, has put some species in danger. Ecology can show people how to fish responsibly. Learning about ocean animals and their relationships to their environments can help prevent their loss. 
With this information, fishing can be banned where necessary. People can use the correct nets to keep from trapping young fish and other sea animals. The sea brings us other kinds of riches as well. It offers salt, iron, and copper. Fossil fuels, such as petroleum and natural gas, can be found beneath the sea. The sea is used to transport people and goods. Thanks to the power of tides, the sea is also a promising source of new energy. We should use these resources while protecting the sea. The protective ozone layer. Another important part of Earth's biosphere is the atmosphere. This is the blanket of air covering Earth. Part of the atmosphere is the ozone layer. It protects us from the sun. The sun's light lets us see and is needed for growth. Its heat controls the temperature of Earth. All living things need the sun's light and heat to live and grow. The sun also produces powerful radiation, including X-rays, ultraviolet rays, and microwaves. If the ozone layer were to disappear, Earth would receive too many of these harmful rays. This would hurt all living things. People have banned the use of chemicals that can weaken the ozone layer. By thinking ecologically, we can safely use the sun's resources. How can you protect Biosphere Earth? One important way to protect the environment is to help stop pollution. Here are a few ideas. Put trash in its place. Trash does not belong in the streets, the rivers, or the oceans. Trash and other kinds of pollution harm all living things. Use solar-powered clocks and calculators when you can. If you use battery power, recycle used batteries. When you leave a room, turn off the light. When you are not using televisions, radios, and computers, turn them off too. That way your family will use less electricity and will save money. Save water in every way you can. Take short showers. Turn off the water while you brush your teeth. If a faucet is dripping, ask an adult to fix it. Finally, remember that many people make mistakes because they don't know about ecology and pollution. Instead of getting mad, teach them. You will help make a better environment for yourself and for your own children.